This weapon showcase for Assassin's Creed Odyssey will show you the basic moveset of each weapon type, along with optimized combos. If you're watching this and I'm guessing you're a fairly experienced gamer, thus I recommend playing on hard or higher to get the most use out of this guide. Since this game is available on multiple platforms, I'll use the following to symbolize button prompts. Light attack, heavy attack, hold heavy attack, and dodge, which also functions as a cancel, which I'll touch on shortly. Heavy blunt weapons are slow but powerful. We're gonna learn how to avoid some of those slower attacks. First off, we have the standard light attacks. We then have the heavy attack combo. The charged heavy. The dodge to light attack. The dodge to heavy attack. Attacks that have a lot of lag at the end, you can actually cancel out of them by dodging into another attack, which I'm going to use here in what I would consider to be the optimal combo. This combo tries to eliminate some of the slower attacks with this weapon, and if you miss with that last hit, you can actually do a forward jumping attack to help close the distance. The sword is your standard all-around weapon that doesn't have a whole lot of lag on any of its moves, but we're going to try to make it even faster. Here we have the light attack combo, the heavy attack combo, the charged heavy attack, the dodge to light attack, the dodge to heavy attack, this combo attempts to maximize your damage by taking the quickest light and heavy attacks and melding them all together. The spear is very good thanks to its extra long reach and its quick thrusting attacks. Here we have the standard light attack combo. The heavy attack combo. Charged heavy, dodge to light attack, dodge to heavy attack. There's two combos I really like for this weapon. The first one focuses on really fast thrusting attacks that ends in a big swipe. And the second one's really good at keeping you out of harm's way and then you close the distance when you see an opening. Heavy bladed weapons are the best at crowd control if you can master them. First we have the light attack combo. The heavy attack combo. Charged heavy attack. Dodge to light attack. Dodge to heavy attack. This weapon has a lot of slow hitting attacks, but this combo specifically tries to avoid all of them and it turns the weapon into pretty medium speed. Daggers have really bad reach, but they're the quickest and have access to some infinite combos. First off, the light attacks. Then we have the two heavy attacks, which can actually be chained together over and over, so it's pretty much an infinite. Then we have the charged attack. The dodge to light attack. The dodge to heavy attack. This combo we have here is high quick DPS that can be done over and over. The staff gives you a little bit of everything with its vertical and horizontal swipes. First we have the light attacks. The heavy attacks. 
the charged heavy attack, the dodge to light attack, dodge heavy attack. There's two combos I really like for the staff. This first one gets you to that big hitting finisher the fastest. And the second one has fairly high damage output for how quick it comes out. That covers all the basics to maximizing your core moveset in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but there's a whole nother layer of depth when combining these with abilities. Hopefully this will help you avoid the allure of button mashing and get a little creative in battle because there is slightly more depth to this combat system than maybe initially realized. If you enjoy this style of informative gaming content, consider subscribing and checking out my Patreon that not only helps support this channel, but also gives access to behind the scenes updates, voting on upcoming content, and regular giveaways. This has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming and thanks for watching.